What's going on everyone? This is Minecraft with Monkey Man and I am back remaking my old learn to mod getting started video because there have been some changes to the way that learn to mod works and now the old video has become a bit misleading. So what this video is about, I'm just going to show you guys this wicked learn to mod uh, website and how you guys can, well, learn to mod. It's in the name there. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be a, just a quick introduction of the first things you do as you, if you sort of purchase a license to learn to mod and you want to get started. That's also in the name of the video. So we'll get straight into it. This is the website learntomod.com if you want to go and check it out. It has some useful information about what their, what the learn to mod is all about. Basically, it's about making mods for Minecraft. You can see lots of Minecraft references on their page but I already have an account so I'm gonna log in and show you what it actually looks like on the inside so when you log in to learn to mod this is the page that you are presented with and it has all the basic features staring right at your face basically so here we have just our information uh, you can link to the forums the coding badges which we'll get to in a minute that's where you want to basically get started and some artifact stuff which there's like a shop where you can get all sorts of crazy things going on, but that's a whole different story. Um, possibly another video if that becomes interesting. But when you scroll down, you can see that there are these uh, sort of what's hot, these featured mods here. You can jump straight into other people's mods if you want to. Uh, they have schematics. Texture packs, of course, you can do those with Learn to Mod as well. And they have all sorts of different pre-made worlds with different structures, which is pretty cool. But when you're new to Learn to Mod, the first thing you really want to do is get in and start making a mod. They have great instructions. So we are going to do some badges. That is where the instructions are that help you to figure it out. So even if you're a complete beginner, um, so this get ba do badges is the same as this link here. Even if you're a complete beginner, it takes you through step by step how to do everything. We're going to start with um, skills and drills. So this is just the real basic beginner kind of intro stuff that when you're getting started, you want to go through these first and it explains everything that's going on. For example, write your first mod is where you get started when you have just, you know, when you're just new and you want to write your first mod. So what I'm going to do is take you through everything that is involved with that. I'm going to do it myself. It is going to launch this voxel engine, which is something that's new uh, since the old mod that I, or the old video, sorry, that I made, the old getting started video. And it's one of the reasons that I needed to update this to show you what's going on. So when everything loads up, you'll be presented with this sort of it's a Minecraft-esque kind of world. It's kind of Minecrafty world there. Um, it's actually Learn to Mod's own version, just for testing purposes. And then down, that just screamed at me. I don't know what that was about. And down the side, they give you a full rundown of a well, a step by step of how to get go through and create this mod for this tutorial. And you can see there's videos and everything, so it's really helpful. Um, and it really does, you know, make it quite easy to learn what's going on. We're just going to go through these steps quickly. The first step was optional, so I'll skip that for the purposes of this video. And in this mod, we're just creating something, I believe, that says, hello world. So we look at the first step and we want to get main function going on. So we'll drag that out there and just do that. That's the first step done. Now we want to send a message. So it even tells you where it is. It's under Minecraft, which is voxel out as well. And then if we go into players, we can get this piece. Now we want to say hello world, so this is going to be in text, of course. One thing you do have to be wary of though, is often you have to get it exactly the same in order for it to, to give you the badge, for it to accept that it's correct. So things like spelling and capital cases, make sure you do just get those right as well. Now we put in the fourth step. And we have, it's just given us the badge straight away, but of course we want to try it out. Like, there's no point making the mod if we don't do it. So this is the voxel world. I've got a little, um, I've got a little, like, man in mind because uh, I purchased him. But basically you just click M to use your mod. And you can see in the chat here, it has said hello world. So that mod is actually working, which is pretty exciting. And if we just click escape there, it takes us back to the screen. You can, of course, jump in and play at any time. And it takes you back into there, and we'll get back out. Uh, but really, what it's about is we got we want to see this in Minecraft, right? We're, we're learning to mod 
Minecraft, that's what it's about. So I'm going to take you through the steps to get it into Minecraft. So I'm just going to click the back button and head back to where all the badges are. Um, and we're going to show you guys how to get it into actual, get your mod into actual Minecraft. So I'm going back to the home screen and I, I have, you can see I've set my name to fake here just so I can show you guys the process to, to setting up your Minecraft name. So because we have to link to your Minecraft account. So if you have a Minecraft account, we can go over to accounts. You can see here I've got my name set to fake, so we can just change that at any time. Um, my actual Minecraft name is Monkey Man, of course. Okay, so going back to this, I actually made a mistake on this page. You need to make sure your Minecraft name is exactly the same into the exact Minecraft name. Like, it needs to have the capitals as well. That was the mistake I made. It's actually have a capital at the start of my Minecraft name. So make sure you include that all the same all correctly like you have all the capitals and everything exactly right and then you won't run into troubles like I just did when I was recording this video and then we have to start our server so if we click on play here we go to my server so this is another thing that has changed since the previous videos is you actually get your own personal server when you uh, have a learn to mod account so you have to actually uh, have purchased a learn to mod account to get your mods in Minecraft which makes sense um, but we will start our own server and it will give us an IP address in no time whatsoever. It does just take a minute to start up, but that's no problem. We'll let it take its time. So you can see now that it has loaded, it's given us an IP address to use. Um, and if we open up Minecraft, we can type in that IP address in multiplayer, just like you would uh, any other server address. So we've just gone into Direct Connect because this will actually change every time you open up your server on learn to mod and you have to come back and open it every time you want to use the server so we're going to join that server and it will just drop us into I'm not sure what world I've got at the moment actually there we go it's just dropped us into this world we're going to go into creative so I've just flicked it over to creative mode jump to air so that we can get a look around so one of the cool things as well that you can do with learn to mod is you have these sort of abilities to control your own server which is pretty cool so I'm just going to set the de the weather to sunny because I'm not a fan of this rain and it, straight away you can see the server has changed to clear weather which is pretty sweet one thing that I did forget to mention at this point is that you do actually need to be running Minecraft 1.9 or 1.9.1 or 1.9.2 only those versions of Minecraft will work with the learn to mod servers so do remember to change that if you don't know how it's just a case of going to launch options and adding a new uh, version here so you just click add new go through and change it the version to 1.9 1.9.2 is recommended save that and um, then you shall be able to just use whichever version and then when you want to launch uh, the latest release you can just change that back and it's as easy as that but we have to now get a mod because you can see and here we we're in Minecraft but we don't have a mod so what is the point we need to go back to that mod that we were creating earlier sorry I'll go into badges we'll go find the mod that we just did write your first mod so then once this uh, once your mod has loaded back up you'll see that it has kept the mod that you created earlier and incorrectly giving me the badge a second time but We've kept that mod from earlier, and we're able to now go down to this little blue button here, which says mod. So if you click that, it's going to then load it into your Minecraft world, and we have already gone into Minecraft. And you'll see we have a chest here, so this chest is called my mods, and that nicely explains it. And inside the chest, we have books. So if you can see this one, um, it's got a strange name, but at the end it's got badge, and it's... Ex and we can see that this chest again is all about my mod. So if we take that book out, and this is our mod that we've created in Learn to Mod. So when we right click this, it activates the mod, and you can see, hello world! And we can keep spamming it if we want to, and it spams the chat like that. And that is it! You've created your first mod in Minecraft. We are getting creeped on by an Enderman. But we'll ignore that. You created your first mod in learn to mod it's gone into minecraft and it works amazingly so there's all there is to it thank you for checking out the video hopefully you have a better understanding of what learn to mod is all about and where to get started with it 
if there is anything else if you have any questions about learn to mod if you want to see a video something else related to learn to mod hit me up in the comments and i'll be happy to get amongst that but until next time goodbye actually one more thing the great thing about mods is like when you're making a mod you can just adapt it and make changes whenever you want and just create it into any old brilliant little thing and then you just click the mod button once again and it will reload it into minecraft there we go okay you can see this message here saying that it's loaded the mod and then when we use it boom we see our changes so you can play around and just do all sorts of things and just trial and error to see how things work and again i'm going to spam it because <laughs> it's so awesome